Good morning from Scarborough Town Centre. So, today my plan is to go out to Oshawa and then come back. Now, the normal way to do this would probably be to take go uh, the GO train out to Oshawa <coughs> and then come back on GO train, but there is a diversion running today. There is no GO train service at all uh, on the Lakeshore East Line and this is down to construction that's happening between uh, Union and uh, Danforth Scarborough Station for the construction of the Ontario Line. I don't know if there's any other construction that's happening on the Lake Charisse Line today, but there's definitely no train service that's running there. But the via rail trains are still running. They are on a diversion, so they're not running on the GO train, lines like they would normally. There is some diversion where they're using some CP freight rail in order to get to Oshawa and from there normal services resumed up to Ottawa, Montreal and so on. So today I'm going to go up to Oshawa, I'm just taking the GO bus out there and then I will take the V rail train back through this diversion to Union Station I want to see where this diversion actually takes us because I'm very curious. And looking at some of the maps there, on some of the rails, it looks like it could go on a massive diversion somewhere. Where does it go? We'll see. journey complete now. Uh, we are here at Durham College, Oshawa Go, which is not really anywhere near Durham College. So now I'm going to take a little bit of a pause, go see what I can see around the London place. Probably not much, maybe grab a bite to eat, and then I'll be able to grab my via rail train on the diversion back into Toronto. Okay, so lunch was had, and we're back at Oshawa, Durham College, end of the GO Train Lakeshore East Line, and we're going to pick up the Via Rail Train 63, which coming from Montreal and going to Toronto's Union Station via the CP Rail version, and we're going to be going from platforms 4 and 5 which I'm somewhat curious about because 4 and 5 is the it's an island so 4 is on one side, 5 is on the other so maybe it'll be 4 or 5 we'll see and as I see train number 63 pull into Oshawa station I can see that unfortunately it is not one of the new units so that's a shame, and I'm running on cold stock now into Toronto. That's a bit of a shame, I really wanted to ride on the new ones. So here we go, train number 63, I'm in car number 3. Let's go on. So here we are, 14D, on car 3. Um, old stock, unfortunately, so... Yeah. But, yeah, we uh, a few minutes here, while people are loaded and loaded. 
to uh, apparently this goes as far as Guildwood, so the diversion is going to be off from there. So, um, yeah, it's not the diversion I thought it was, but yeah, we'll see what happens. past Pickering and it looks like we're going up on an incline which does suggest that we're going over the rail bridge over 401. Yes we are. So very obviously we're not going to stop at Guildwood. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Anyway it looks like there is some yeah, construction going on there on the go lines so that's why there's no go service today up on the Lakeshore East. So now we're going over some freight track. And this is this is the diversion. So this is what we're going to pay close attention to. This area of track is single track between where we veered off at Pickering and the way that we're going. This diversion takes us through the uh, Rouge National Urban Park, which is just to the northeast of Toronto. Big area of green space. Yep, that was a crossover. Rail Trail Park area. With some areas of tracks that all come together. Now I understand what this diversion is. So I did think that it was going to be a long way around for these tracks to meet up and go back into Union. That's not what is happening. So we've reversed and we are going to be going down one of those tracks through the little railside park. Huh. Okay. Mm, again, not what I thought. We're going north now. Did somebody want to tell this driver he's going the wrong way? So we just went backwards over one side of the not quite a diamond crossing. Now that we've gone that way, we are now going south again. Down through the other part of the diamond. So that crossing that we crossed over before, we're going to cross over that again. But yeah, going perpendicular to the way we came before. gantries and what they're doing down here is pretty much the reason 
for this diversion. As I mentioned, they're doing work on the Lakeshore East service today, and it looks like they may be doing some realignment of track. And that gantry was definitely new. As we're pulling into Union, I'm being teased by one of the new units. Really, really wish I could have done one of those today. Maybe next time. So here's a funny thing. Right at the end of our train, there was no cab car. So when we went in reverse, presumably they had someone looking out the back window of there to see where we were going. And it was still being driven from a locomotive end. That's very, very interesting to see how they did that, because that is, that was just wild. Okay, so just a little bit of a wrap up, I guess. So that was our diversion. It took us through Rouge National Urban Park. We went off through the regular via rail lines that I use, and we went down to, uh, across north east side of the city, down to uh, what's called Doncaster Diamond, which was where that crossroad was. We did the first ever three-point turn that I've done in a train. That was just wild. Having the train go back along the northwest corner of the diamond, up to the top, and then back down uh, on the regular GO train lines, the Richmond Hill line into Toronto, and then come back down with uh, just going down that lovely bit of Don Valley where you've got the river right beside you and that's something I've really never appreciated in Toronto is that yes the only time I really see the river is because there's two rivers there's the Don and there's the Humber and I mostly see the Don living on the east side but I only really see it from the Gardner Expressway type of things where I'm coming down and on the Don Valley, and I see it on the Gardner when I go over there. But yeah, this is just driving, uh, taking the train down through and seeing some of the natural landscape that the city has to offer. And that was just, that was a treat to do. Uh, so I'm very glad to got to do this today and see the diversion that uh, the, the rail trains are using. So wonderful.